welcome to Aspire to Wellbeing's 21 Day Yoga Challenge designed to help you develop a yoga practice as a habit. This 21 day challenge is aimed at the beginner yogi as well as those that are time poor with short and educational videos. You will develop a solid technique as well as learn the fundamentals of yoga. It takes 21 days to form a habit so it is my hope that after this 21 days, yoga will be a regular part of your life. If you have just randomly come across this video and would like to participate in the 21 day challenge, I've popped all of the details to that in the description. Before we begin the daily video today, if you have not already warmed up, I've created a short warm up for you and the link to that is in the description box as well. Welcome to day 16. Today's video is another technique tutorial teaching you pigeon pose with some variations as well. I will see you in the class. From plank pose, bring the left knee towards the left wrist and slide the right leg along behind you. Ensure all five toes are facing towards the mat by rolling that right hip down. Make sure that your left knee is to the outside of the left hip. Hug the inner thighs in towards each other energetically to help create some mula bandha or pelvic floor engagement. And draw the pubic bone up towards the navel, switching on the deep core muscles. Once you feel stable, Extend the arms up towards the sky. Draw the shoulder blades down your back and hold your arms up with the muscles of your mid back. You can take the eyes up towards the fingers or you can take your gaze or drishti directly in front of you. If this pose hurts your knees, instead please roll over onto your back and take a figure four stretch instead crossing the left ankle over the right knee and then drawing the legs in. Another variation is sleeping pigeon where the leg is long behind you and you lay over your front leg. Tips and modifications. If you want to make this a little more of a deeper stretch through your left outer hip, Take the left ankle so that your shin is more parallel to the top of the mat. If you'd like to decrease the intensity of the stretch, you can take that foot back by your pelvis. You have the option here also of bending into that back knee if you need to. So let's now take some time to practice Pigeon Pose. And start with your right leg in front. Don't forget to keep engaging your core, especially if you're taking this more active version with the hands up. If you are feeling pain in your lower back, please bring your hands to the earth or fold forward into the sleeping pigeon variation. And then we can't forget the other side, so let's switch to the left leg in front now. Making sure that that front foot is flexed. The front knee is just to the outside of the hip. And that all five toes of the back leg are folding down towards the mat and pushing down into the mat. And remember your options, you can bend that back knee you can bring that heel a little closer or further away from the hip point. You can also lie down on your back and choose the figure four option if you're feeling this in your knees on this side. Remember, both sides of our bodies are different. You 
Congratulations on completing another day of the 21 day yoga challenge. Don't forget to like and comment on each daily video letting me know you've completed the day of the challenge and letting me know how you went to stay in the running for the monthly prize draw where each month one lucky subscriber will win a one hour private yoga session with me. T's and C's for this competition are in the description box below. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow.